civil society leader around the globe, Russia Michelle. And she asked me how I'd been doing since my, since my father had died, which was two years earlier. And, uh, and I talked about that, and then I, I talked a bit about what my, my direction of my career, general direction, because I wasn't sure that I'd end up here tonight uh, <laughs> 20 years ago. But I, uh, I looked to him, and I, I said, of course, you would know all about isolation. And he said, no, I've never been isolated. And you know that expression? And things were going so well. <laughs> I, I had the, the sort of thought I'd, I didn't know what I'd blown, but I felt I might have blown something. Turned out not to be the case. So, so I regathered myself, and, and I said, not even in Robben Island, where, as, um, as you would know, that he was, uh, he was in prison there for 19 years in solitary confinement and for 27 years overall. And he said, no, I have never been isolated, but I have seen isolation in a child in a village in, in uh, Africa with HIV AIDS who no one will care for a lover, so on. But before he said that, he said that uh, he had never been isolated because in Robben Island we were all brothers working together with a common purpose. I was never alone. And I guess that's kind of a, it's, it was a paradox until I thought about it and I thought, how can it be that somebody who was imprisoned and in the harshest of conditions and uh, with, with uh, guards whose main mission was to deprive him and others of any human contact, how, uh, how could this be? And the answer was there, of course, that we were all brothers working together for a common, a common purpose. So the first thing that I... I learned is that uh, is that it's a bit tricky talking about this. And when you were you were saying, and now we have DEI, and now we have all of these things, you know, I think it's true. But the challenge the challenge is to not rely on metrics, but on what is the meaning and how do we go deeper on all of them. So my my uh, concept is belonging, and the reason that I think of it as the opposite of isolation, even though. I don't think I don't think there's an actual opposite. Mm -hmm. Is is that this idea of feeling that you're sitting alone at the bottom of a well, which has, is how I still see isolation in my mind, is opposed to belonging, which uh, which is the feeling of being included, but not only in relationship to others, which this is all about. It's how you are inside, but in relationship to others and. Uh, and with the inclusion of your dignity and your voice and your ability to choose, which is how many people can be isolated um, all, uh, all at once in terms of a lack of rights and choice and agency. Mm -hmm. 